and it's intriguing. Obviously, the limb proportions are not bear-like. It seems to be very long-legged and long-limbed. The proportions look more like a chimpanzee than they do like a human. Throughout the decades of the reports of Sasquatch, Bigfoot, all of the film and or sketches have been on what we would say were adults, large bodies, and there have been some eyewitness accounts of large Sasquatch Bigfoot with small versions, like children or young. Matthew Moneymaker was saying that one of the questions has always been, well, if this is real, then where are the young? Where are right. the offspring of these large ones? Could it be that this is the first clear photograph, even if it's an infrared, of a young Sasquatch and that we are missing its growth process and that it may be more like a chimpanzee at a young age than it is later. Right. We have no data on those developmental trajectories. And if we consider even our own species, if we look at the limb proportions of an infant and a toddler, and you know, especially in a newborn, the hind limbs are exceptionally underdeveloped. And you're right, the limb proportions would better approximate those of a non-human primate, adult non-human primate. These animals, presumably, if they're like other great apes, also have that period of dependency, but may become ambulatory at a much earlier time, but may still not exhibit the full-blown limb proportions of an adult and may have, like you were describing, much more chimpanzee-like. So that raises a very, very interesting possibility, absolutely. There's a lot we don't know, and we really don't know what the development of the foot of a Sasquatch might look like through its growth trajectory. Can they be distinguished from human tracks? If they can't, I mean, that raises some curious questions about just the mechanics of the gait and locomotor adaptations of this species. but. Meaning, why would it be so human-like? Exactly. Because the characteristics that we're distinguishing, you were using to distinguish a human track from a Sasquatch track are in the Sasquatch, the lack of an arch, the greater breadth, the relatively longer toes, the much greater breadth of the heel, particularly in contrast to the remainder of the foot. But maybe some of those features don't manifest themselves to the extent that they're evident in the uh, typical Sasquatch track until the individual has attained a much greater bulk, a much greater weight. And I would expect that if this is a juvenile, that it would be a fairly a young adult one. Otherwise, it wouldn't necessarily be there all by itself without a female close by.